Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Up The Valley. Today is episode 5 and we have a top of the table clash against second place... What's their name again? Chadatonians. So come and join me up the valley. Run that intro. Okay, guys, so welcome back. Thanks for joining us on the Whitworth Valley FC journey. Um, as I said before, we do have a away game today against Chadatonians. They're currently second in the league, so a bit of a, a top-of-the-table clash there. But first, we do have a game against fifth-place Mostonians at home. Um, so, yeah, those are the two games we're going to be doing today. Firstly, home against Mostonians, and then the away game against, uh, against Chadatonians. So... Just before we get into those games, I did just want to make you aware of this. We had our manager, sorry, monthly manager performance review uh, come through from the board. To uh, so we are getting an A, a star, not an A star. That's GCSE, isn't it? Uh, a plus, A plus rating. So to summarise, the board feel you are doing an unbelievable job, and you're clearly putting a smile on the face of every single supporter. All. 36 of them who were at the last game or whatever it was <laughs> 30 35 36 anyway uh, long may it last so they are pleased with uh, our 5-1 win over whoever that was um thornley happy with the level of support in the squad happy with the 3-0 win against old blackburnians slightly concerned though against our uh, sorry slightly concerned with the 0-0 draw that we had but that's fine i mean you're always going to get you know somebody moaning uh, somewhere, but club vision were on A plus. Matches were looking at a B minus. Transfers C, um, but the the fans give us a, a, an A minus for that. Uh, tactics B plus and squad A minus. So overall, we have an A plus, which is fantastic. It's a good start to the season. I think though the um, the players that we've brought in uh, have definitely helped the squad, and also the two Callums or the three Callums really have helped us settle in quite nicely and have. Done quite well, I think. It's a good start. We look at the table quickly. Where's the table? Here we go. So, yeah, we're currently sitting top of the league. Played eight, won seven, drawn one. Still haven't lost. And can we go the whole season um, unbeaten? Unbeatables. We could be the new unbeatables, couldn't we? What are they called? Unbeatables? Untouchables? Something like that, anyway. All right. So, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get into today's game. The first game, like I said, is a home game. Is that right? Am I... Talking nonsense. Yes, the first game is a home, home game against Mostonians. Now, Mostonians have got key player Phil Graham. Uh, he's a right back, so not too much to worry about there. And a hot prospect, they've got a youngster called Jamie Bentley on the wing. Can also play attacking midfield. So maybe you'll have to watch out for him as well. Captain Stephen Cole is a striker. He's okay, I guess. Um, but I think we've got it in our locker to to beat them and to continue our good run in this league so we're going to go into the game um i think we're going to keep the same team yes we are going to keep the same team as before we will run through the lineups now um yeah just going to keep the pretty much the same same core of the team here we've got fearing in goal luaba at left back fenton and harrison as the center backs uh, nathaniel appier as the right back, Adipe and Eggington in the centre of midfield. Uh, the superstar Callums, Callum Burton on the left, Callum Hewitt through the middle, uh, Ryan Lamb on the right hand side, and Jackie Devlin, or Jack Devlin, but Jackie sounds, uh, it's got more of a ring to it, hasn't it? So we're going to keep him up front. He is currently on seven goals in eight appearances, also three assists as well, so he's done really well. Um, and uh, nothing really to note about their team, all regens. Um, yeah, 4-3-3 three, three they're playing, so we are going to hope to overwhelm them in this game. We are at home as well, so fully expect you to go out there and get a win. Right, let's go, kick off. Up on, up the valley, up the valley. 
thanks for everyone again who has uh, jumped on board and has been leaving great comments and stuff as well in the videos and also on twitter stuff like that so thanks again to everybody who's involved it's been amazing amazing start to the season and let's hope we can go on and progress quite quickly anyway we have got a throw in we've got appia there callum hewitt plays a nice ball down for lamb who's got a couple to beat but can pick out devlin who shoots and it's in the top corner i think the goalkeeper actually uh kind of spooned it into the the top corner there it was a looked like an easy save for the keeper but he's he's really messed that up doesn't he to be fair so lamb here finds his man devlin who just one touch out of his feet and a lovely um sort of curling shot there from just inside the penalty area so we're one up within 15 minutes pretty good we're going to shout uh, a bit of praise there for you doe on the left oh dear adipe has made a challenge there and he could be in trouble what's going to happen here ref has pulled out a red early early doors and the whole team is now looking anxious for some reason they're looking anxious um a straight red then for al Alulu, Alulu Adipe, the 19-year-old Nigerian. Where did he come from? Crew. That was it. He was released by Crew. So a straight red. I mean, it didn't look too much like a red, did it? We're going to, I think we could go and have a look at that in a minute. Um, what we're going to have to do then is we're probably going to bring Callum Hewitt a little bit deeper. Mm, doesn't really like it, does he? Maybe we just keep Eggington there and bring uh, bring Lamb back and sort of play a bit of a... I don't know. I don't quite know what you'd call that formation. It's sort of a four-two-two-four asymmetric formation, I guess. Um, but that's what we're going to do. Callum Burton's going to stay out on the wing. Callum Hewitt there, Eggington and Lamb um, confirm the changes. So, uh, hang on. Let's. We're going to go back and look at this. What has happened here? Right. What has happened here? So the throw-in has come. Doe's got the throw here now. Cole has got the ball. And this player here is Adipe, right? So is this a red card offence? Let's have a look. Adipe, ooh, I mean, he's he's made one challenge there and he's made a second. And it doesn't really look like he's done anything wrong there. The first challenge, if anything, is worse. So Adipe, I mean, he hasn't done anything there. He's got the ball. The ref's messed that up. The ref in this game could have now cost us the game. Adipe, straight red card. All right, well, let's get back into the game, see how we can do. So Mostonians, yeah, currently fifth. They are 1-0 down, though, so we're 1-0 up. Callum Hewitt now places the ball for a corner. Ball comes in, and Devlin cannot get his head to that. Hmm. Right, well, Adipe, what are you playing at? We're going to... What do we do here? I think maybe we go a bit of um, a bit of calm down at half time. It might might um... so he's going to get a ban, isn't he? As well, that's going to be a bit annoying. So we're going to have to. Well, maybe it's a chance for one of the other lads to come in. I think we do have a youngster who can come in and and play there. So passionately say, I'm pleased. I guess. Anyway, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I can't really say much more than that. One nil up. Uh, as long as we don't concede, we should be all right. But we are going to come under a bit of a an attack. I think probably second half. Appia there to Lamb. Lovely header there back. And it's a fantastic ball in. But uh, Callum Burton there just can't get his head to it. Um, we are looking at... Shout. What do we shout? What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him to calm down or concentrate. What do you reckon? Calm down or concentrate? Oh, dear. He's going to get in. Doze in again. And Cole finds the ball there. And mm, Jens Lehmann's younger brother, by the looks of it, has... Um, has got a goal back for Mostonians, and maybe we're going to come unstuck in this game. I was talking about the unbeaten season. Uh, the Invincibles, that's the word I was thinking of. What did I say? Untouchables. That's probably wrong, isn't it? Uh, the Invincibles, yeah. So Lehman, part of the Invincibles for Arsenal. Um, looks like maybe his uh, his younger cousin or, or nephew or whatever uh, might be in the Mostonian squad. Probably not, but what are we going to do here? Right, tactically... Let's have a look. Who is not doing the job here? So winner Luabu at left back is having a bit of a mare, isn't he? However, we... What do we do here? So Mickey Catamol can play a little bit further down. Can Callum Burton play further down? Yes, he can. Maybe we'll put him on support. Um, hmm, what do we do here? I think we go... Mm, Eggington also not playing that well. Do we drop Callum Hewitt, take him off? No, we don't. We go for the win. Right, here we go. 
So we're going back into it. We're going to go for the win, I think. Here we go. Callum Hewitt. That's better, isn't it? Callum Burton. Eggington. Can he play in his man here? Appiah on the right-hand side. Nice ball over. Bit of a mix-up in defence there. And they're going to come away with it. Frimpong, though, cannot get to that. Devlin. Eggington. And it's a little bit of a shambles at the moment. Callum Burton, though, out on the left-hand side. Lovely ball in for Devlin, who gets his head to it. But Pell Rodden, who's spooned it out. Um... Who's this guy, anyway? Bernd Lehmann, Austrian. Information, right. Favourite person now. Okay, he hasn't got any. He's not a relation of the keeper. Uh, Ryan Lamb, first yellow card of the season for him. Right, what do we do, guys? What do we do? I think we bring on the big guns. Um, well, I say the big guns. I mean, some guns, I guess. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Callum Burton not having the best of games. A little bit reluctant to take him off, though. Um... Eggington not playing great. What we're going to do is we're going to bring Callum Whitehead into the central uh, midfield area. We're going to give him a bit of room there so he can go forward. So, um, Cariello, Cariello, central midfield. We're going to put him on support, push him up a little bit. Uh, Callum Burton, you're going to go back up there. You, you didn't really do much there. So he's going to go on attack. And this is the kind of weirdest formation you'll see this season, I'd imagine. But we're going to go for it. Uh, we're also going to go attacking, I think. Are we? Uh, yes, we're going to go attacking. See if we can get a win. Come on. Right. This isn't a good start for us This uh, in today's today's save. Um, old Blackburnians 2-1 up. It looks like that's going to be it, isn't it? No, we've got a final highlight here. Appiah throws it out to Wilshaw. And Lehman again running the show in central midfield at the moment for them. Uh, plays it to Cullen, but he's played an awful pass back. And now Callum Burton is through on goal, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Saved. Manning plays the ball out. Saved. Uh, Callum Hewitt, last chance of the game by the looks of it. Callum Hewitt putting the ball in. Fenton's going to recycle the ball. Callum Hewitt plays it through to Callum Burton, who scores a fantastic goal, but it's offside. What's happened there? It's going to be a replay, right? It's going to be a replay of what happened there. Is there not a replay? Here we go. Fenton plays it out to Callum Hewitt, who, I mean, yes, he is standing marginally offside Devlin. Is he interfering with play? Possibly. I think both players are actually offside, though. So this is Callum Burton over here. And one Callum to another in the 93rd minute. That would have been a fantastic way to finish the game. Uh, it wasn't to be, though. We kind of, yeah, Devlin did run in front of the keeper. But um, it's going to be a one-all draw in the first game today. Whitworth Valley 1, Jack Devlin on 16, Mostonians 1, Burnt Lehman um, with the goal for them. We did have a man sent off, and I think that probably played its part in the result today. Olo, mm, Ola Ulu? Ola, Adipe with the, uh, with the red card. And, uh, yeah, Lyle. disappointing, disappointing. But we're going to go to Passionate and say, assertively, not good enough. Yeah, anyway, that worked. So after that one all draw, we are looking at the table. We are still top, uh, top now only by five points. I think Chalitonians must have won. Yeah, they did. So up next, top of the table clash. Maybe, maybe that result makes it more interesting because they, mm, what's that, 18, 19, 20? Uh, they will now get a chance to go within two points of us uh, if they beat us at their own ground. So it's a, a lot tighter at the top than, than uh, I, I'd like, but uh, we are still unbeaten. Nine games played, seven wins, two draws, no losses. Um, so apparently not then. We're not playing... Um, we're not playing Chattertonians because <laughs> today's match... It says today's match against Whitworth Valley, so this must be coming from their... Uh, head office or whatever, um, has been postponed due to a waterlog pitched at Hopwood Hale College. Now, I'm guessing this is their ground. So, um, yeah, we're not playing them today, which is a bit weird. I'm going to have to just quickly go through. And, uh, yeah, we're not playing them at all. So let's look at the schedule quickly. A waterlog. Well, there we go. So we are playing Bolton Risedale. Uh, at home in the next fixture, and then we're playing Chattertonians after that, as long as uh, as long as the rain stopped, I guess, and um, the pitch is not waterlogged anymore. 
Hi guys, so we are back now on the day of the next game, which is against Bolton Rysdale. The Chadertonians game uh, did end up being postponed, unfortunately. Um, but what we're going to do is going to make today's episode a little bit longer, and we're going to have uh, three three games in it. So um, we had the Mostonians game earlier. We have uh, next up a home game against Bolton Rysdale, and then we're going to have the Chadertonians game, uh, the rescheduled Chadertonians game, um, which is an away game. Um, a little bit later in the in, in the uh, in the video. So uh, let me just run you through the team for today. We're going to get through this game a little bit quicker, I think, just because um, uh, to get on to the, the Chalitonians game, which is the bigger one of the day, I guess. Um, but I wanted to show you this game just to show every game this season. Also, because we're going to have to make a choice here in midfield, because Adipe, having, get, uh, having been sent off in the last game, is... Um, is not an option for today. So whether or not we play Callum Whitehead as the ball winning midfielder, or we also have it's a chance today to see a little bit of Lewis Stagg, who is 16 year old Englishman. Potential is um, I don't know what three and a half star potential. Uh, seems to be quite a good player. Can play in central midfield there. I think it might be time to put him on the bench, or do we start him? Can't really play as a ball-winning midfielder, um, but Callum Whitehead can. So Lewis Stagg's going to come onto the bench today. Um, not quite match fit, although he has been playing in the reserves. So seven appearances in the reserves, two goals, one assist as well. So he's playing quite well in the reserves for a 16-year-old. He's, he's doing well. Uh, so Lewis Stagg comes onto the bench today. You might see him at some point. Um, but we're going to run you through the team today. Callum Whitehead's going to play that role as the ball-winning midfielder there uh, next to Eggington. So we have Fearon in goal, Luaba at left-back, Fenton and Harrison as the centre-backs, Nathaniel Appiah uh, as the right-back, Callum Whitehead um, and Eggington in midfield today. So Callum Whitehead, all three Callums playing uh, from the start today. Callum Whitehead, Callum Hewitt, Callum Burton, you know the score. Ryan Lamb on the right, Jack Devlin up front. And we'll get into today's game. It is a home game, so hopefully we can win this. They're currently sixth in the uh, in, in the in the league. So straight into it. I've got faith in you. Go out there and let's try and not get somebody sent off in the first 19 minutes of the game, and then we should be able to win the game. But um, uh, yeah, there we go. So let's see what we can do today. I think we're going to shout right from the off, unless we score here. Callum Hewitt. The, Nice ball in early doors. We're going to demand more right from the off. I want to go and win this game. I want to go and punish Bolton Rysdale. Um, because we weren't able to do that to the team uh, previously. So, uh, fails with Dynamos are currently 1-0 down as well. Chadertonians winning at the moment. Obviously, their pitch is... Um, oh, no, they're away today. So, that was a lucky escape for us there. Uh, Chadertonians 2-0 up now. Tom Hunter with the second goal of the season for... Uh, second goal of the of the game for him. Um, so 3-0 up now. Charlie Ashton. Oh my, Chalitonians are hammering Failsworth Dynamos uh, at the moment. Mustonians also 1-0 up. Let's see if we can get a goal. We need to get a goal here. Otherwise, we're going to lose a few points. We're Eggington. Uh, we're going to lose a few, um, a few places. There's a possibility if we lose this game and Chalitonians beat, him, beat us next. Uh, look at that. I was about to say, if if we lose this game and Chadertonians beat us in the next game, we they would drop down to second position. However, Luaba plays the ball forward to Devlin, who lays it off for Eggington. Eggington to Callum Hewitt, man of the moment, Callum Hewitt. But Devlin with a wonder strike into the top corner of the net, and we're 1-0 up um, just before half-time. So things going pretty well for us at the moment. We have managed to keep... Um, Keep 11 men on the pitch as well, which is nice to see. Uh, Adipe obviously out for this game. He's going to have to sit there. I don't know. Maybe he's going to go in the clubhouse, have a few beers, think about what he's done. We're going to give it a bit of... Uh, let's have a look. Tactics. What should we do here? So everybody's playing okay at the moment. Callum Whitehead in that role not doing the best. What I might do is moving up to support because he seems to be more natural as a supporting uh, midfielder rather than a defensive one. Can Eggington play defensively? Not really. Uh, maybe we'll put Eggington a little bit further 
down the pitch a little bit deeper and we'll free up Callum Whitehead. More of a free roll for him in the middle of the park. Uh, and hopefully we can come away with the win today. So yeah, all three Callums playing today. First time they've all started, I believe. So um, we're doing all right at the moment. You've got to love a Callum. Give them a bit of demand more. We'll focus the team to try and push on for that second goal. Uh, tactically, we're doing all right at the moment. What I might do is bring on... Should we bring on Lewis Stagg for a game? Let's bring on Lewis Stagg and we'll play him as a central midfielder on support. And then we'll put Callum Whitehead, ball-winning midfielder support. Look at that. Lewis Stagg in the middle there, uh, getting his first appearance of the season. So 82 minutes gone. I think everything's going to go okay at the moment. We're only 1-0 up, though, so a late goal could really cost us. Uh, but it looks like we're going to see it out, and we do. It's a 1-0 win. 15 shots on target for us today. Sorry, 15 shots. Six of those on target. And Jack Devlin, again, getting man of the match. Getting that winning goal. Callum Hewitt also on the 7.1, creating that goal. Matty Fenton at the back, looking solid as ever. So we are passionately going to say, nice victory, well done. And now, hopefully, um, if the pitch is up to it, we're going to play the away game at Chalatonian. So I shall see you for that game. So just before we do get into the last game of today, we have a couple of news articles here. It says Lewis Stagg now becomes the youngest ever Whitworth Valley player. So Lewis Stagg appearance at the age of 16 years and 195 days for Whitworth Valley at home to Bolton Rysdale in the... You get the picture. Um, he is the youngest player now that's ever played for Whitworth Valley, apparently. So um, the previous was Callum Whitehead um, at 16 years and 262 days. But uh, Lewis Stagg is a few days younger so he is now the youngest player to ever play for Whitworth Valley right guys we are back with the game the uh, the pitch is dried out apparently so we're, we should be all good to go we're playing at the Hopwood Hall College Chattertonians versus Whitworth Valley we're away today uh, it says 7.45 evening kickoff at the Hopwood Hall College in Middleton uh, 19 tickets sold so a big crowd uh, gathering. Let's see what do we get in the last game. Oh, oh God, it's going down now. We we had 18 people at the home game uh, last time against Bolton Rysdale. 18 people to see Jack Devlin score uh, a in a one nil win. Anyway, so you can look at the league table here. So currently we are top. Uh, played 10, won eight, drawn two, lost zero games so far. 20 plus 20 goal difference. Uh, 26 points. So we are five points ahead of Chattertonians now. A win today would take us eight points ahead, um, which would be a massive, massive win uh, for us today. Cheddar is the other, the only other team I think that were sort of in with the chance to uh, get promoted. We'll have a quick look at the finances as well. So um, profit is looking all right. We're doing all right at the moment. We've got an overall club balance of two thousand two hundred nineteen pounds. Um, a profit this month of six hundred and seventy-five pounds. Gate receipts was the main factor in that and also a bit of match day income. So some burgers and some uh, curly fries, all that kind of good stuff, right? So uh, we'll get into the team selection. I do believe that, um, what's his name again? Uh, Adipe is back for this game. So unfortunately for the youngster, Lewis Stagg, that does mean he's going to probably miss out. Um, where's Adipe gone? There he is at the top there. Uh, yeah, so Adipe is going to come back in, play the defensive midfield role instead of uh, Callum Whitehead, who will drop down to the bench. Adipe and Eggington now having a nice little partnership in there. Uh, we have the, the, the two Callums, obviously, and Lamb, Devlin up front. So I think the team's going to stay the same. It's only been a couple of days since our last game. I think four days or three days. There's a couple of players there looking a little bit worse for wear, but I think we should be all right overall um yeah i think we're going to stick with the same team so we're going to submit the team we're going to get straight into today's game and we are away chattertonians here we come uh ashton there for chattertonians they've got some kind of multi-story car park maybe it's a cineplex uh, at the back of their ground there which is a little bit odd isn't it to have it right there it's actually inside the ground by the looks of it uh, anyway massive car park 19 people turning up uh, Adipe wins the ball. That's what he's there for. Well done, Adipe. Callum Burton 
plays the ball through, shoots wildly. Um, unfortunately, nothing really came of that chance there. We're going to shout at the team. Demand more. We need to see more out of the team. I also do think that we haven't really, although we've been winning games, we haven't really played with our early um, dominance that we had at the beginning of the league. Lamb here, though, uh, picks it up. Eggington, nice ball forward, but it is picked out by the defenders. And they're playing it around quite nicely around us here. Maybe they've uh, got some fans watching for the car park. They're not in the 19 that have paid ticket prices, but you might as well... Just come along. It's almost like one of those kind of old school American American um, drive-in movies. As Alan shoots, yeah, you could sort of just park up here, couldn't you, and look through the window to watch the game. So that maybe that's why they haven't got many people at the game today. Um, we're going to demand more. I don't think we've been doing too well at the moment. Smart now at centre back plays it through to Alan. Now Alan, I think he has scored a few good, few goals this season, and it's something to worry about. We're, we're, it's almost like a little bit of pinball going on here we need to get the ball down on the ground and play it like we can do Eggington now that's a bit better uh, Appia plays inside to Harrison from centre back plays it forward to Devlin Tong is up as well Ellison now takes on his man and uh, they're going to come forward from the right hand side however ha Callum Burton has disposed of the of the uh, left back right back shoots wildly wide though um, unfortunately and uh, things aren't going great for us at the moment. I think we need to demand a little bit more. We're very focused, but we don't seem to be... And Allen's through on goal here. Shoots, and if it wasn't for fearing in goal, I think we could be a goal down now. A night game. We've got that atmosphere. We need to do better. Uh, three, goal, uh, three goals. Three shots each at the moment. It's a pretty even game. It's going to come up to half time. And what do we do second half to make this game go in our favour. We're going to passionately say um, time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got. Leave it all out on that pitch tonight. Right. Passionately say that. Um, I've got faith in you. Let's look at the tactics. Now, what do we? What can we do tactically to change this up? Eggington in the midfield is not playing too well, is he? 6.2 for Eggington. Hmm, now, let's see. What can we do here to change things up? We've got Whitehead on the bench. He's looking a little bit tired after the last game, though, because he did come on quite early in that game. Um, And he's not match fit anyway. I think we go with what we've got at the moment. Maybe do I bring Ryan Lamb a little bit further down? Maybe put Callum Hewitt. Hmm. I think we're going to go a bit of a... Odd formation. Just get them all playing in their natural positions. Maybe that will make a difference. But Ryan Lamb's actually picked up a knock now. So he's going to have to come off. And it's time. Mm, Whitehead can't play there. I think what we're going to have to do. Where can Toby Wright play? Only as a forward. Mickey Catamol is going to come on and have to play out of position. So Mickey Catamol, it's down to you, mate. Well, I'm going to play you. So I think Mickey Catmull is left-footed, right? Left only. So he only plays there. Callum Burton can play only on the left as well. So Mickey Catmull, I'm going to play you as an inside forward on attack. So you're going to have more of a creative role there. You can cut it, cut in on the inside uh, and use that left foot, hopefully, to good effect. Loaba there, playing through Callum Burton. Can he pull out a lovely cross? He can. Roger in goal. Um, plays it out to Appiah, who's got all the time in the world to pick his man. Plays uh, plays it again. I think we should be playing a little bit shorter pass in there. Uh, Adipe, though, wins it. And Luaba plays through Callum Burton again. Nice cross in. Devlin's there. Can't get to it. Eggington plays it out. Appiah's on the right-hand side again. R Lamb, who hasn't yet come off, but he is injured, wins the corner. And is this the chance? Looks like Lamb's going to go off at this corner. And um, Mickey Catamol does come on to play as an inside forward. Not the greatest player we could play there, but let's see. Callum Burton, can he win the ball? He can't. Elias, uh, Ellison, Tong, Tong, Tong. And uh, it does come out to Devlin, though. He picks up the ball deep in his own half. Luaba, he's going to have to get on his bike if he's going to get forward. Callum Burton, though, runs it. What, what's going on? Devlin, back to Callum Hewitt. And the Callums have combined again. And Devlin up front. And Callum Hewitt with his third game. Third game, third goal of the season, assisted by Callum Burton. And the two Callums 
have made things happen again. I think that could have also been a penalty, I guess. Callum Hewitt there on the six-yard box, tucks it away nicely, and it is a fantastic finish. And I think I think uh, Devlin's picked up a little bit of a knock. Callum Hewitt then plays it in again. Devlin picks up the ball. Eggington, can we make it two? Adipe out to Eggington. Back to Adipe. Lovely ball forward to Devlin, who looks like he's picking up a bit of a knock there. So Toby Wright is going to come on up front. And uh, let's see if the uh, youngster can do it. The young, the German 16-year-old Toby Wright, who oh, I'm guessing in, in real life is probably not German. But big, Mickey Catamol then coming in on his left-hand side, left or on the right-hand side with his left foot, uh, playing as that inside forward. He is going to cut in more often than not as a uh, strong left-footer. Demar Moore. And things are getting a little bit... Uh, heated now at the game. Let's have a look. We've got Callum Hewitt there, Matty Fenton on a 6.7. Eggington again. Callum Whitehead, I think, is going to come on for Eggington. Not having a great game today. Edwards with the ball. Rice is up and it's, a, it's an equaliser. And Curtis Wright has equalised for Chadertonians. Hmm. Edwards with an in-swinging ball, out-swinging ball, sorry, and Rice with their nice header. Keeper cannot... Get that out, and I think we make the change anyway, don't we? I think uh, Callum Whitehead's going to come on, and we're going to shout. What do we do? Get creative, I guess. Uh, they're inspired by that feedback. It looks like it's five minutes of injury time as well. Can we get another? We've got another chance, and Lewaba from left back. Callum Burton has been hacked away there. Callum Burton with the ball in. Burton again. He's everywhere today. Callum Whitehead back to Adipe. Lewaba. Callum Burton again. Is he going to shoot? He's not. He's going to cross. And it's come out to Lee. And it's all over the place. And now we'd be looking at trying to see this game out. And it's an awful tackle by the left back. And Rice is in. And Curtis Rice is going to break with, with hearts. Curtis Rice with two late goals. And the left back there. And when he scored at his near post, the, the keepers dived about 10 minutes after the shot was taken. And that is going to be it. And we're going to lose our first game of the season. Curtis Rice with a late brace. The Northern Irish striker who... I mean, that is a big, big loss for us. His first goal, of the, uh, second goal of the season, sorry, for Curtis Rice... And after Callum Hewitt scored the goal on 61 minutes, I thought it was all going to go our way. Player of the match, Curtis Rice, though, on an 8.7. Two goals, and that makes the league table... What do I do? Get aggressive? I think assertive, not aggressive. Not good enough. We should have won. Mm, Chad Atonians, still second in the league. We're still top, but that... I mean, look at that. Two points in it. And things are looking a little bit tighter at the top of the league then. Mm. Well, after being eight points clear, I think we were probably, what was it? Was it eight points clear at one point or at least seven points clear at one point? We are now down to two. The lead's down to two, but we are still top of the league. We're not going to go unbeaten, unfortunately. But hmm, Whitworth Valley in disappointing collapse. Um, I think that's a little bit harsh. They did have the advantage of being at home I think Chadertonians are, it's going to be a big game when they come back to Rawson Street I think that's going to be the game of the series so far so looking at the schedule we are away to Burnley Belvedere next and then Valley United at home those two games will be on the next episode episode six which will be out on Monday um, not going to put any videos out the weekend to do with uh, the Whitworth Valley save, but that's going to be a weekday thing. So Monday to Friday, probably, or maybe two or three episodes during a week. Uh, not the weekends, though. I've got some other videos coming out. So if you do enjoy uh, other kind of content and stuff, you can uh, you can check those out too. Uh, so we're going to be back with those two games, Burnley, Belvedere, and Valley United on Monday around about 4 or 5 p.m. UK time. Um, let's have a look. Where is the Chadertonians game? The next game at home to Chadertonians 
is right at the end of the league. So we've got, uh, what, three, four games before the end of the league. So that could be a title decider. That's one to mark the calendar for. Um, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry, it's a bit of a longer episode today, but we did have three games, which I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit a like on that like button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We've got some, a bit of, there might be a few random things coming out over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, possibly. Uh, Going to be a couple of beer reviews, maybe. And, um, yeah, I've got another idea, which I'm not quite sure if it's going to work or not. But <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. This week's been a fantastic week for me. A great week. I had loads of views on the channel and on the series. Thanks to everybody, again, who's been involved with that. And, and I'll see you uh, on Monday, I guess, or at the weekend if you want to watch some weird stuff. All right, bye-bye.